I yep. believe this is their first event in quite some time. I, I think they may have entered, gosh, potentially even early in the 2018 season, but... Oh, wow, well, all the way back then. Yeah. So it's definitely been a bit of time. A bit of time there. But Malatek is a constant up-and-comer in our scene. Yes. Um, started taking some sets off some PR players into this season, and he's probably someone Ooh, that... Uh, that was a great parry from Hazaka. Punishing... <laughs> uh, Melo's immediate dash attack. And that's something you will see from Melo. He's such an aggressive player. Oh, and the, the, the poor DIM means he can just go for that straight up beat. But yeah. as I was saying before, Melo Tech is a very aggressive player. So if you just wait it out a little bit, you, you will be able to find times where he will just run at you and you can parry it and get your own combos out of it. I think uh, Melo Tech's going to enjoy this uh, just being able to abuse Adolis's large body to get these extensions. Yes. I think that's sure. the, the dream of a character like Maple. Oh, no, not to, again. <laughs> wants to combo you as much as possible. That's just bringing me back to the days where you could confirm Tether of the Edelus. Oh, I'm so glad that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite space the jab out, so Malatek able to escape behind Lily in that situation there. So you've got to be aware of some of your hitboxes that can reverse. Really important against the stage position. Or can a character like Maple who uh, can plant Lily and control stage in that, that way? See, if you notice right there, Melotech planted Lily, then immediately ran towards the Zaka. It seems like Zaka's being able to slow down the pace a little bit for the yeah. last stock, but it's probably going to be a little too late. I think um, just keeping it slow and I don't figuring think out a couple things will help in that second game, though. He really needs to uh, figure out how to how to parry Lily because I think he's getting um, get a lot of the, a loss by that. It's a skill you have to develop for sure. Yeah, like parrying um, Zedaburn's Bible, you just have to practice it a bit and you'll get it. And that's the that's the first game to Melo. I think um, Zaka may potentially be used to special stick. I'm not sure. Mm. Seemed um seemed uncertain there. Just like a couple of up airs there led to SDs. Yeah. So I don't know. Leaving the default controls on. I think too, the Zaka needs to use ice a bit more on the on the stage. You mm. get a bit more movement. Like you can see a lot of medals is uh, use dash attack, wave dash back into dash attack again. Yeah. Um, like dash attack into uh, the down tilt or up air and stuff like that. You know, you need to get a bit more movement in order to counteract Maple's insane speed. Going back to the same stage. I really do feel for them though, not having your control set up in that first game. You know, yeah. It's a reminder to everyone, you do need to take your time before you start. Yeah, I'll definitely learn my lesson from that. Absolutely make sure your controls are spot on before you begin the set. <laughs> Okay, getting a bit of ice down with ground. That's that's all right. That's not what you want to see though. He's just hey, going straight up. Harry. And Malatek didn't even wait after that parry there. He took the immediate punish. Yep. Just going for the up tilt. You can tell Melo really wants these vertical combos. Kill off the top as much as he can. Well, I think he's recognizing that he's able to just kill off the top very easily like that. And in those sorts of situations, you really want to be trying to ASDI up so that you can escape before that third hit. Well, the regular fear is that the tether combos are what you have to be concerned with, but um, I don't know. It's the first time I've actually seen Malatek have to use tether to get those confirmed so far. It's just a lot of these up tilt, up air extensions. That was an interesting <laughs> choice of tether. I'm not sure I would personally go I'm for surprised that, that first <laughs> hitbox on the Edelus forward strong able to connect there, but he confirmed into the kill, and now we've got a freeze. Not able to get a lot of percent, but managed to keep it going after the freeze wears off, so quick 37. But now Lily coming into play, not really what you want. Oh, he was <laughs> looking for that up B. Uh, That's, I was looking for an up B myself, but uh, up, up air managed to get the kill there. I think up special would have been faster in the situation too, and actually yeah. would have guaranteed the kill. But, and Mello was quite lucky to, That's to get away with that. I'm not sure why he went for the side B there. Yeah, oh. Zaki just needs to DI a little bit better in these games. He could have avoided a lot of combos. Um, oh, it's, if, it's, if it's something you're not aware of and you're coming from an ultimate or other Smash titles, of course, other yeah, background, sure. it's, um, it's definitely.